Hi guys, welcome to my three sisters plot. This is a test for me, kind of an experiment. I am trying this Native American way of planting that includes uh, rows, in my case, rows of corn interspersed with the shading big leaves of melons, pumpkins, squash, cantaloupe. In this case, you'll see two cantaloupe plants there. And then growing up the support that the corn stalk is today I'm planting. These corn now are about a foot tall, so I'm planting pole beans that will use the corn to kind of trellis up. And so this was a way of making use of shade and structure in their planting. Hi guys, it's Jackie from Famish Farm. And why are we doing this? What's what got me into this idea of the three sisters planting and we live in northwest alabama so we're near the natchez trace we're near uh, a memorial called tom's wall uh, that i'll put a link to in the description uh, to both of those items these were new things to me that i'd never heard of before before we moved here and so it's like many places, there's been many um, tribes of Indians that have called this area their homeland. And I just am intrigued with planting multiple crops in smaller places. I am not a high intensity gardener, although I'm starting to try some of those principles. And this is not a high intensity plot per se, if it were, the corn rows would probably be about a foot apart. And the squash would probably be more squashes planted intermixed here. I'm adding more squashes as we go, but there'd probably be more. So it's just I kind of feel this affinity for the history of the area I live in and the curiosity over if this will actually work. So here you see me, this is my row one. I started this plot, I'll link another video that was the first day that we planted this plot. And I'll link that and put the date up on the screen here because I can't remember what date it was, but you can see the first two and about two and a half rows of corn are coming up pretty nicely. The last two rows, so the rows behind me, um, they have been a little challenged. I did replant the seed in those rows and hopefully those will come up. I, as of this morning, it's coming up spotty. It's only been a few days, so we'll see if that can, it probably won't catch up, but if it will perform as well as I hope these other two and a half rows do. So the, cantaloupe that is directly in front of me there was a volunteer as is the smaller one at the end of that row and this had a several week start on the corn so this has already provided shade in fact probably so much shade that the stalks of corn there's two stalks directly underneath it that are already um, feeling the ill effects of being so close to that shade um, the others that are around it are going to be big enough that they can take off without being affected by too much shade. Um, on this other end of the plot, I have some sugar baby watermelon, some crimson melon, and then I planted a gourd. I think it's called a Corsican gourd. Um, and I may add kind of in front of where I'm at right there, a uh, pumpkin. I've got a, just a pretty basic orange pumpkin that I wanna uh, try also. And so I'll probably add those in the walkways of this particular plot. So when I end up, I may have um, two, the two cantaloupes, uh, two or three melons, hopefully this Corsican gourd, and maybe a couple pumpkins. Now, it would be very typical in, I guess, high-intensity gardening for there to be um, many more 
rows of corn and many more squashes and therefore since there's more rows of corn there would be more rows of beans. Uh, my original plan was just to put the beans on the perimeter of this basically square plot but because I've left so much room between the rows of corn I think I'm gonna what I'm doing today is going ahead and planting basically one bean at each corn stalk. So three sisters is basically a method of companion planting. So it is the three different crops all have different roles to play in this grouping of plants. And in addition to the, the shade and the structure, which are visually the first things that you'll see, the next parts are pretty much what's going on below the soil. So, and I'm not a scientist, I don't even play one on TV, so you can find much better descriptions than what I will give. What's happening beneath the soil has to do with the root structures of each of those plants and things that the scientists will tell you about nitrogen fixing and beneficial bacterias. And since I'm not a scientist, I'm not gonna be able to give you those type, that type of information. Um, what I can tell you is it just sounds like an incredible way to plant three different crops that are sustainable, that will help your soil become more resilient and also provide good, uh, a good nutritional mix. So that's why I'm in it. Um, if the other things below the soil happen, that's just a bonus. Now this video I took um, today, which is the 20th of May. So just to show you the, uh, those, that last row and a half basically of newly planted corn, what's coming up. So as I said, it's just been a couple days. I think it's a five to 10 day germination um, on this corn. I'll give you another update as the beans start coming up and I learn more about this whole process.